What is specific gravity in winemaking? If you're an avid at-home winemaker, you must know by now that winemaking is way more than mixing grape juice, water, and some sugar, right? For those who are new to this world, you might need to grab a calculator, as we are going to talk a bit about chemistry. The specific gravity refers to the ratio of the density of a liquid to the density of water. It also indicates amounts of fermentable sugar or possible alcohol percentage in the must or wine. Water holds a specific gravity of 1. Wine, on the other hand, increases its gravity as you add sugar, for example, 1.015 in wine. Overwhelm? Let us break it down. Why measure specific gravity when making wine? Winemaking is a great experience, and it might just take more than combining a few ingredients if you want to nail your best recipe yet. After the first fermentation and your wine has abated, which occurs at about seven days, it's time to measure, check the specific gravity. This will help you figure out the density of the must wine compares to that of the water. Before the grape juice fermented, the specific gravity for it was over 1.0. Once the yeast starts converting the sugar into carbon dioxide and alcohol during the fermentation process, the density of the wine starts to decrease. For instance, a specific gravity measurement that is less than 0 .0990 indicates that the first fermentation has decreased enough to start racking. The main concern, leaving the wine and dead yeast for an excessive period of time, as if you leave it for too long, this will result in wine tasting like rotten yeast. You won't want that. This is one of the main reasons why measuring specific gravity is essential throughout the winemaking process. How to measure the specific gravity in wine? Remember the entire point of measuring the specific gravity is to determine and possibly make corrections to the amount of alcohol you end up with within the finished wine. Steps you should take to measure specific gravity. 1. Check and measure the acidity of your grape juice. 2. Measure the specific gravity with a tool called a hydrometer. 3. Use a specific gravity table online. Find the corresponding column according to acidity to know the amount of sugar and alcohol percentage. 4. Want to add more alcohol? Use the same table and check the amount of sugar you need for this percentage to be fulfilled. Then compare it to the amount of sugar already in the juice. 5. Regulate the amount of sugar per liter required to increase the specific gravity to your desired value and start adding. Conclusion, it is essential that you conduct readings through every single step. This will not only help you potentially perfect your recipes, but will also help you learn from your mistakes. And hey, don't forget to keep your readings safely noted down. You're going to need those for tweaking and correcting.